Hey, help me with a question I've got from one of the viewers asking about permatease and uh, what it is, what it isn't. How do you get it up there so the wig stands up high? So help me out. See what you think about my interpretation. You're looking at a brand new wig in a box. It's been flattened in here. It's ready to go. It's been sitting like this for ages. So we're going to look at the fibers of the wig. These are all long, long and straight. But down in here towards the cap, where they're long and straight, are little shorter ones. We're just going to pick up a little tiny, like a row. So when you look at this row, can you see down here towards the bottom how they don't go all the way down this way? They kind of stop in this area right here. Do you see those there? And do you see how they're not super straight like like these are? They're a little different. They're a, got a different texture. What it reminds me of is baby baby hair, baby growth. It looks like what I have going on actually on top of my head. This little uh, crimped or uh, new, it reminds me of actually just like I said, new growth is what it looks like to me. Here that's usually towards the bottom of the cap or towards the back of the neck. The permatease back here is quite a bit different than it is on the top. So when you pull out just a line, you might find straighter ones. But do you see how that's fuzzy in here? So here's the long hair. But do you see here by the cap how fuzzy these are? What that stuff is in between the long ones. Can you see these things in here? They're... I think I can see it and then I move it and then I can't see it again. What you're seeing. Let me go back up here towards the cap. The cap is full of it. So this has been in a box and it's been smashed. Everything is down. But if you look, if you just look just, just at the base, you can see that fuzzy There are different pieces that are fuzzy. Can you see that down here in the bottom, down in here? I don't want to get stuck in the cap. <laughs> So this fuzzy stuff is the permatease and it's all, it has the potential to get bigger and bigger the more you pull it up and pull it up and pull it up. It can stay low and if you like that more of a profile where it's just your head with not a lot of bigness or you can work with this and get it bigger and bigger and bigger. So what you see on my videos is you see me in here doing this and getting in here and doing this. So I'm coming in and I'm down in here in this fuzzy stuff that's in between each one of the fibers. I mean, can you think, can you imagine how much work goes into making these? That's why the machine ones, they go faster because you got to get all those little ones in, in there in between all of these all over the cap. So you see it down in there? Let's see. Down in here, this fuzzy stuff. See how that fuzzy stuff? That's permatease. And so you feel it, and you can feel like how thick it is. So that's what I'm doing, is I am 
getting in here and I'm doing this. I am creating uh, air in, inside of here and getting these from being flat with the fingertips, with my fingertips, with my fingernails. And so when I spray my hands with uh, water or I spray the fibers with water, they separate out of here. That water loosens all this up, drips down in between them and and, uh, and pulls these out of the permatease. So when we say pull it up out of the permatease, we're pulling these out from between all this fuzzy stuff. And this gets the potential to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And so when this down here is sitting up like a cotton ball now, then when you lay these long fibers over the top of it, it sits up. Or you can just smash it all back down again. And now you're flat again. So that's why, depending on how you store it and how you wear it, you'll go in here each time and you'll judge these up. That's why we say we judge them up. So we're getting in here with our nails and we're just getting in that permatease and we're moving it around, moving it around, getting it picked up. And you'll be able to feel how they're, some of these fibers are stuck into, into that permatease. So see how it's nice and pile, like a carpet pile. Like carpet nap. It's like carpet nap. That's probably how carpet stands up and looks uh, looks thicker. So you're getting in here and uh, we smooth all these out, smooth these down. But you can see this. That's why people say they like the mono part because it looks like skin. But there won't be any permities because it'll only be these long ones. And so for me, on my head, it falls flat right there. Well, this is all high and piled. It's flat right there. And to me, I don't like how it looks on my face like that. So I always flip the part and hide the mono. Because I like it to be high. So this side, this side hasn't been done because we were working on the other side. So all the permatease is still flat down in here. You kind of see it in here. But that's where you go in here and you wake it up, shake it up, how we say that. And that's how you get the hair higher. That's how you get it up higher. Here's my Alva that I wear all the time, and all the permatease is up in here already. That's why I always say the bangs sit up on their own, because all the permatease in between every one of these hair fibers, if you want to call them hair fibers, all that permatease is already up and billowy and plushy and full so that when I lay these on top they just stay up because I've already gone in here and worked it to death it's already all that fuzzy stuff is standing up on its own all, all, all throughout the cap it's already up and high and I don't think you can see too much because this is such a dark piece, but it's very, very, um, very, very plush up here. And that's how it stays up on its own. Now, let me show you another one. This is a uh, lace front. So you're not going to have any permatease in here at all. And you may already know all this, and my apologies. Um, this is just for anyone that's still struggling with the permatease bit. So you won't have anything billowy in here whatsoever. Nothing at all. These are every single one that you see in here is tied down into the lace. And lace is like tulle, if you're familiar with fabrics and calico and cotton and muslin. Uh, lace, this lace is like tulle, like uh, you know you see under poofy dresses and dancing dresses. So there is absolutely none of that fuzzy stuff in any of this. No fuzzy stuff at all. See, you won't see any of that. Now with this particular one, as you as you work back through the through the lace front, you're gonna hit cap, and then this cap is where all that fuzzy stuff is. So as you come back 
off the lace front. Let's see. The lace front goes, it's a tight lace front, so you really, I don't I think it's kind of goofy, but uh, when you hit the end of that lace front, then here, now you see all that nesty stuff. See it all there, all that there, all that nesty stuff right there. You can see right down into the um, actual weft. And that's all that permatease in there. See, you can get this big, really high. It's all throughout here. And so when you wash your wig, you know, in the water, in the basin, and you have the little wig soap in there with this, this all, you know, will, the oils and things in this permatease will release, should release. And then you, it, it would probably go down some, you know, it won't stay high like this, stay up and high like that. But a lot of people say that looks nasty, and to me, I just think it looks like hair growth, real hair growth. Um, when your hair comes back in so and then when you have a hand tied cap when it's all hand tied and there's no wefts at all you're not going to have permatease either none of this 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 looks like a mess <laughs> because uh, it's a mess <laughs> it just is but uh, it doesn't look anything like the picture in the catalog, and it is uh, just a mess because of their baby fine hairs. But when you look at the scalp here, you won't see any permatease. See here? It's just all straight, all the way. You don't see any permatease in there at all. Because it's hand tied. So it's supposed to be like your own hair on your head with each one moving independently of the other. So that not going to have any permatease. So these lay super flat. Uh, if you want to spend the money on them, they're going to lay super flat. You're not going to have anything holding it up at all. And for some dumb reason, they're the hardest to get rid of that crisscross pattern. <laughs> I don't know why, but they are just the hardest to get rid of that crisscross pattern. So, when you do stuff like this, trying to get rid of the crisscross pattern, what happens is, is that you've kind of got um, some curls that have kind of gotten uh, discombobulated maybe. They're, see how it's just kind of pulled out from its own style? It has not got this this going on. It's like this now. Even even this one was like that. This one. This that thin. So you've got, you've got your great um, mono top here. But then you get back into this fuzzy stuff back here and it starts to get you know, it, it can start to get pulled out of out of out of shape. So here's here you've got these curls, but they're not defined like like these. They're they've gotten kind of uh, moved up moved out of their own shape. They're they're like becoming just a big. Now I'm not saying this happens on every wig, but this is pretty much what happens when you're moving those fibers around in here and you're getting this judged up. These get, um, they get fluffy like this. And so water is how you put it back together. And I'll show you how that works. I'm looking for a wide tooth comb. <laughs> yeah, of course I didn't bring it in here. Let's go get it. It's just over here. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what the water does to, um, okay, oh, here we go, to, um, put them back together, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's mostly the hair that's, uh, 
I'll just go back in here and see. Well, let's just do this because uh, I'm over this wig. <laughs> this very, very expensive wig. So let's just say, which I would never do. I would never do this. But let's just say we do this. And we put it on the left because where it's supposed to be. And this is something that is, is very true. That um, not everybody's head is the shape of these caps, you know. And mine isn't. E mine isn't. So when I get this lace front on here, it's starting to roll for some dumb reason. But it's see how it comes back here? But you can see my cap. <laughs> Whatever. So let's just say, um, and this could be something that you might want to do if you have one of these things and the, they're just not laying right. I mean, they're just all over the place and that's not good. Now, um, all of the curls are now not like this. And this is what I want. I want this stuff. Um, but now it's not that anymore. So where did the curls go? They're still in there, but to bring them out, you got to get them wet. So you can use a 99 cent store water bottle or a, what do you call it? Dollar Tree. It's shedding. <clears throat> uh. So now it's misted pretty good. And I'm just going to kind of work them back in. See how this is kind of, this, this gets kind of full in here because there's a lot of permatease in there. That permatease is um, changing its shape on them. And my hope is that, and this is just a side note, this has nothing to do with the permatease lesson of the day, is that if I keep messing with these bangs, that they'll, I don't know, they'll have their own way <laughs> about life and uh, stop doing this weird funky thing that I it's been doing. And so sometimes I think that with enough water, <laughs> I can drown it into another style. Um, but now see, um, see how it's been, they're, they're curly again. They're like this again. Now something I learned years ago, years ago on, mm, Oh, it was a wig channel. Wig, not a not a reviewer channel, but an actual wig channel. Um, and the style that they were doing this hack was uh, well, they don't make it anymore. And um, the one they do make changed its name. But let's say um, you have a curly wig like Jamila Plus or Story Bill or something along those lines. Even even this. Um, I thought I could do it with my Raquel Welch, but my Raquel Welch uh, editor's pick was heat friendly, and it was just weird. But they, the the the, to the topic of the video, if you will, was recurling your wig. You know, because I think over time they kind of lose their um, shape, or they just kind of relax, kind of like your own hair. And so the way that it went was it was on a wig head or something, but you take each one, each curl, and you twist it like that, and then you, like in the way that it's going, and it would just recurl your wig. You just recurl, literally recurl your wig, but you wanted to get it wet. And so um, you could sit, you know, um, in the living room, I guess, and watch like you, uh, Netflix, I guess it would be like, they didn't have that kind of stuff back in those days for me, but uh, you could find some joy in doing it on your own head or put it on a wig head and um, sit with it in your lap. You know, that's one of the things that um, I, I found uh, interesting to get used to was off the, head, off the head styling, off the face styling. And, but I had a, a wig head when I was a kid. I, I, I grew up um, loving Charlie's Angels, and uh, Farrah Fawcett was my, my thing. And I got a wig head for Christmas one year, and so I I got used to off-the-face styling, but I could never put it on my own head and wear it around. But So 
this, uh, I don't know if I, if I really pointed out how fuzzy this was uh, when we started on the water. But now it is not as fuzzy. And so honestly, when it's a rainy day, these are the best kind of wigs to wear. Because they just really perk up and <laughs> they perk up in the rain where our bio hair falls flat. So uh, let's look at a different one. So here's the one that I, I really pulled apart. And um, it's kind of a mess. It's a uh, anti. So see how it's uh, really a mess. And I'm sure that you've had these in your wig journey. Or maybe you haven't, but it, you, you could. See how it's just completely out of control. <laughs> just completely out of control. One way to rectify it is, you know, just stick it under the, the, the shower, the, either the faucet or the shower, and just get it sopping wet, and it will usually come back together. Um, but if you're trying to make a wig review, <laughs> and you don't have time for it to dry, uh, water is going to pull all this fuzzy stuff back together. Does it look as fuzzy as it looks in person to me? <laughs> let, let me put it on the sound. Ow! Let me put it on. Yeah, snug, snugger. Uh, hand tight snugger. Snugger than it. Uh, I remember how this felt when I put it on. So, so this looks nothing like the picture, which uh, is really separated. And um, this just feels like. Um, Baby fine hair. I think I said that uh, when I was making the a review of this, which is still available. So, um, yeah, water, just just water. So it really doesn't look that bad um, as it it really does in person. It looks terrible in person. This is just a mess. But I'm just going to use water. And it's going to put it all back into those curls, those individual curls. And then if it doesn't, you can just sit and pull them, pull them out one at a time like that. And then there was just one last thing that I was going to show my little gal who was asking me questions about the permatease. But, um, I think the best way to do it on is a brand new Alba. <laughs> and then the best way, of course, you know, to go um, to let these dries upside down. So, let me go get a brand new Alba and show you my last little hack or trick. Tip, trick, tip, trick. Oh, this one's shutting too. <laughs> Hang on. So I guess there's one more thing I want to show you, one or two. So a curtain bang is like a curtain in a um, dinner theater, dinner theater type, type curtain where, you know, it goes all the way across and then you have curtains that, sh that kind of fountain down on top of those. So to know if you've got a, a curtain bang or not, you want to pull all these top pieces to the back. So that just your bang pieces are in the front, and then you will notice that they are long, uh, that they are long across here. Usually bangs are about temple to temple, but when they go way back in here, you got yourself a curtain bang, and the way to double check is that the ones that you pull back here will cascade onto the top. Make sense? That's a curtain bang. Anything else, it's just a bang. Just a bang bang. So so here's my Alba, and um, Alba's a good one for either going right down the middle, showing off your little curtain bang, or going to the right or to the left. And now here, here, here's a wig with no monofilament features at all. And uh, and I'm sure that you could find this style in a competing competing and a competitor's brand with a mono, but it just, to me, looks just like 
baby hairs growing, which people have hair breakage and baby hair going. So bangs are flat because all the permatease is flat in the cap, right? So getting in here, <laughs> pushing up that fuzzy stuff so it's sitting up high so that these lay on top bigger and bigger. So you have a little bit in the sides here that you can just rub in here, rub them up, rub the big long ones out and the little fuzzy ones like a cotton ball. And then look. That's how you get the sides full. And then to get these, um, to tra start training them one way or another, when you get them over to the side, if you take them and twist them together and take a comb and pull back on that, like rake it back, that'll help keep them going that way as it sits on the permatease. And so I think she said, how do you keep it like going all day? Well, that's when I talk about loving the position I used to have where I had a mirror in front of me all day. You know that old uh, Dial and smile, smile and dial. You know, so uh, we always had like mirrors in front of us so that we would see ourselves smiling. If you weren't smiling, you weren't dialing. And so I could see myself and I could keep doing this all day. And then over time, the permatease just sat up on its own because it got really full and thick. And um, I look great all day, but like now, I don't have that. So, uh, you know, you just keep messing with it in the bathroom. <laughs> I just keep going to the bathroom and getting it in there. And now see, I did all of that without water, but I prefer water on there because it just moves it around for me a lot better, but it looks really good full. It really, I, I like full in everything. So it looks good full and it looks good flat. Anyway, this is probably another uh, 45 minute video. <laughs> On permatease. <laughs> so if uh, you have anything that I left out or uh, that I got wrong or uh, you want to add, uh, add it to the comments because that's really cool. I've been loving like the, the dialogue is so cool. Uh, so yeah and thank you for for uh, putting in comments in comments when I can't get to them right away and answering like questions and things like that. That's so cool. Thank you so much. That works so well. Super, super cool. And uh, yeah, I got a, got a couple other really special uh, heart touching um, things that have come through that I want to address, uh, not address, but just kind of, um, just kind of recognize. So I'll be putting that up here in a little while, but yeah, let me know what I got wrong. Let me know what you think and what I missed. Okay. And we'll talk soon.